Thank you so much. Uh, uh, the truth of this is, I love you. And I really do. Let's have some dancing girls now. <laughs> Actually, Gene, we have a couple of surprises for you, my friend. And we'd like to begin. Thanks, Darth. <laughs> You're really what I had in mind when I tried to write Mr. Spock. <laughs> Somehow I do. This is Mr. Gene Roddenberry. Dear Gene, your imagination and tenacity have produced an enduring legacy. 25 years of one of the greatest, of one of the richest science fiction universes ever created and still going strong. You should be all, you should be very proud of the achievement. It's an inspiration to us all. I salute you on the 25th anniversary of Star Trek with best wishes George Lucas. This is kind of big. Hey, Rod, maybe you can give me a hand, Rachel. Yeah, we had a few people that... Hold it up first so the audience can see it, I will read it. Um, Dear Gene, has it really been 25 years? Congratulations on your outstanding achievement twice, your devoted fans. Just a couple of toasts. First of all, on the 25th anniversary of Star Trek, uh, I just think that we owe a note of thanks to the entire cast of Star Trek that have, for 25 years, stayed with us, been part of the family, never let us go, and God knows we'll never let them go either. That's toast number one. And toast number two goes to Gene Roddenberry. I don't want to uh, sound too offline about this, but I think the man is one, one of the most influential human beings of this century. And what he's done for our culture, our society, is something that will be measured for hundreds of years to come. So let's hear it for the great third, Gene Roddenberry, we salute you and we love you. Thank mm -hmm. you.